Hello, my name is Hesang Kim, advisor of Gangnam Labor Law Firm. Today, with the labor attorney Jung Bong Su, we will uh, cover a story about the unpaid severance pay uh, at the company that has b b less than five mm. uh, labor workers. Mm. So, could you explain the background of the story, please? Yeah. Hello, uh, how are you today? This is uh, Bong Su Jung, Korean labor attorney. Uh, recently, I had a uh, uh, some meeting with a, a client uh, who resigned uh, the, uh, the August uh, 31st, uh, 2024, I mean the, about uh, two months ago. So he told me uh, he had, has uh, served for this uh, uh, employer for six years, uh, but he didn't receive severance pay. So he was the only one employee hired by this employer. So uh, he want to receive a severance pay, so employee refused to pay, so that's why he visited this labor open. So by his request, I calculated how much eligible for severance pay. So it was 50 million won, so I calculated. So but this amount you can receive if you claim to labor office. So, However, um, you have a long-term relation with your employer, so if uh, maybe I can help you by calling your employer and warning them uh, if uh, they do not pay, then uh, they'll be punished by uh, the labor, violation of labor law. Uh, also, I think uh, you, so if they pay based on mutual agreement, then it can be a win-win relation. Maybe you can maintain such a long-term relation, maybe in near future. So I suggested uh, then employee thought it is a good way. So uh, at that place, I called the employer. So I explained what is the legal duty uh, as employee. Um, so they have to serve, have to pay one month salary for each service year. So since the employee has served there for 16 years, then means 16 uh, months amount of seven pay should be paid. So then employee, employer told me, oh, I, we pay the more incentive. Um, the reason is uh, he agreed uh, he will not receive any severance pay later. So then based on what he said, uh, for what he said, I explained. Uh, uh, even though both parties agreed in, in uh, employment contract, if it violates labor standard act, such a party is invalid, then invalid party will apply to the labor standard act. That, that is article 15 of the labor standard act. So if you uh, refuse to pay, then you must attend a hearing by hearing in the labor office, then if you continue to not to pay, then you will be punished by criminal uh, by, uh, charge, yeah. because the violation of labor law is a uh, criminal punishment will be uh, um, the, uh, given. Yes, yeah. so uh, I kindly, I politely explained to the employer, then employer uh, told me he will think and he will call us again, yeah. So a few years, a few days later, employer called. I understood uh, I must pay severance pay, but I didn't have enough money. So I want to get to the, some settlement uh, after meeting with him. So would you, he asked me to support him. So I think it's uh, now waiting for some settlement between the two people, two employer and the uh, former employee, yeah. I see. So uh, from the Korean labor uh, laws, Gangnam uh, uh, labor laws point of view, uh, in order to settle this matter and uh, not affect the relationship between the employer or mm. employee, mm -hmm. what would be the best suggestion uh, mm. for both the employer and employee? Yeah, I think uh, my suggestion is uh, if uh, employee win 100%, Definitely, uh, he's uh, entitled to 100% of severance pay, but um, I think employer, uh, he owned, he just hired one person, so now he suffered from 
low demand in the market, so he has a lot of uh, some uh, like minus uh, uh, the like management, like uh, he has a lot of uh, deficits. So, uh, so he told me uh, we he didn't have uh, such a big money. So, if possible, uh, he want to reduce certain uh, this kind of amount of money. So, then what I how I answer this? Uh, okay, you you both party you can talk and you can get to some settlement. Then in front of me you can uh, both party agreed. Then I'm willing to support uh, you. So that's uh, my suggestion to them. But so if employer is a normal company that hired more than five, maybe then definitely I strongly insist uh, the employee should pay this amount of money by law. But uh, this employee is one person. Also, uh, only there, there was uh, one employee. So it's a very minor uh, some company. So employer uh, actually he could not afford to pay. So I think so. My suggestion was uh, some adjusted amount, like uh, not uh, fifty million one, maybe thirty million one, or uh, then I think it is solved smoothly uh, for that. So my role as a labor attorney, this is uh, what the labor law uh, uh, you must uh, observe. But considering the the, the situation. So, like, um, I can suggest uh, how much, but you both parties should accept, then I support uh, for making some settlement agreement. So that's uh, what I explained. Yeah, but in case the employer, even 30 million won, in case the employer cannot afford mm. to pay at mm. this stage, really because he doesn't have money, is there any uh, like government subsidy that can uh, substitute this and yeah. later uh, receive money from the employer? Yeah, I think if employee become bankrupt, there is an insolvency payment. Uh, so it's uh, from the uh, wage guarantee fund. So when uh, the employer uh, the, uh, um, contribute, I mean, they uh, pay the, uh, the industrial accident compensation pre premium, uh, industrial accident compensation insurance premium, uh, this may be a small amount of money. It is a wage guarantee fund is already included. So that, through that money, government uh, pay a certain amount of money to the, uh, the employee uh, who didn't receive uh, such a money from the bankrupt companies. So, but in this situation, like, uh, I mean, the, how much the government can support is uh, uh, within uh, the last three months of salary and the last uh, 30 years uh, uh, severance pay. So six months amount of money uh, is uh, protected by law as a preferential uh, protection uh, wage. Yeah. I see. So I hope that uh, without uh, too much uh, conflict between the employer and employee, mm. uh, the uh, unpaid uh, severance pay will be settled soon. Yeah, I think uh, they'll come soon. Yeah, then I'll try to support them. Of course, uh, also I tell them this is the uh, uh, best way for both sides. So as a labor attorney, it, it is better. Uh, to take uh, the case to the labor office and um, like uh, then um, based on my the labor attorney's role, if they if uh, employee receive the the uh, expected amount of money, then I get more uh, like a service fee. But for considering this very uh, poor employer, so I I'd like to support uh, this employee at the same time uh, continuous uh, relationship between to uh, people like employer and uh, worker in small companies. So I think uh, my role is to uh, try to support them and they get the uh, very peaceful settlement together. Yeah. I see. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for watching. Okay. Bye-bye.